Hi, I'm going to mute things out. I want to listen to some music. I'm just doing busy work in Illustrator. I'm going to start in Photoshop. Uh, this is that drawing we did uh, over in Sketchbook, and I saved it as a PSD file so I could open it in Photoshop. And when I pulled it into Illustrator in the last video, the gun, which was done in a very light color, uh, didn't come through very well. So I'm going to actually find that gun. There it is. That's what I thought. And just really quick, adjust that lightness down so that it is nice and dark with the rest of the image and looks pretty good and then I'm just gonna save that and I'm gonna pull that one into Illustrator instead so uh, just so you know what's kinda going on there um, that's what I'm up to and then I'm gonna be playing some music uh, through my Bluetooth uh, speaker here and just kind of chilling, trying to get some work, uh, some work done, busy work on vectorizing this logo. So uh, that's what's going on today. So at this point, uh, you're welcome to go ahead and tune out the uh, tune out the the audio. You can just drag that uh, volume knob all the way down, and that way, if there's any commercials that pop up, they won't bother you. You can play some music and uh, watch along and then there is a chat on Twitch where you can communicate with me so I will be trying to kind of keep an eye on that uh, on my phone so if you have questions uh, definitely let me know there and I'd be happy to answer those and a lot of what I'm doing today is going to be stuff I went over in the last video so uh, if you have uh, really detailed questions uh, definitely feel free to ask me um, but I might go ahead and just direct you back to my YouTube channel to watch the last video uh, if I feel like I could have explained it better there uh, than in the chat. So um, that's it. Um, I'm working on Windows here, uh, but uh, if you look at that YouTube video, I do give commands for Mac as well if you're using Illustrator on Mac. So um, they're pretty much the same. Uh, as far as I know, still pretty much the same. It's been a while since I've used it on Mac, but um, the big difference is the control key and the alt key would be the command key and option key on your Mac. So, uh, But I, I'll go through that uh, each time I bring up a shortcut. Uh, I tried to call that out, so I think you'll have that covered there. And uh, yeah, I think that pretty much covers things. So I'm going to pull up Illustrator. I've got that image I pulled in before. I'm going to delete that out. I'm going to place it again. Uh, let's see. Did I save it? Oh no, I got things a little bit goofy here. Google updated to this drive file stream and it creates a separate drive uh, location, like a virtual drive on your uh, computer. I'm not sure where it's actually storing that data. I think on my D drive. Um, but my initial location uh, still appears with the Google logo and all that. Really, really distracts me from uh, knowing where I'm saving stuff. I really need to go through and clean that all up. But the original file that I want is right here. I think it'll let me just place that. Yep, boom, there we go with the dark dark gun. So uh, hopefully this is going to let me um, vectorize this much quicker by catching most of those lines. And then I just got to do cleanup work. Otherwise, I got to redraw that whole thing. Uh, in Illustrator. So not a huge deal if I do, but I'm kind of hoping I won't need to. So uh, that's it. I've still got the other uh, logo back there, the uh, the face that we were working on. I might work on that a little bit today, but my main priority is going to be this guy. So uh, just a real quick recap on what we did last time. We selected him. I'm going to actually uh, copy him to a new layer and lock that one down. I just want to be able to go back to the original artwork if I need to. Uh, selected him. We went to Image Trace. We chose, I believe, Sketched Art. Worked out really well. There we go. And as you can see, um, he looks pretty good as is. He's really uh, come through well. I tried to really pay attention to that when I drew it so that it would come through well. I'm going to expand him. I'm going to subtract out, and then um, 
This time I don't have a background, so if you'll see I'm, I'm actually trying to select right now in that white area. There's nothing to select. Um, I'm actually going to need to correct that later, so you might see me uh, copy everything out and create a uh, copy of this white space uh, if I need to. We'll see. So uh, with no further ado, I guess I'm going to go ahead and get things going here um, with my music and shut down my microphone. So I'm going to get back over to my software and I should be able Yep, that works. <laughs> okay, I'm going to click this mute button here in the OBS software to shut off my audio and you can feel free to turn up your music and follow along if you like. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, if you wanted more information or if you're finding this on YouTube and you want to find out when I'm doing broadcasts, stuff like that, uh, definitely head over to my Facebook page, facebook.com slash 5012design, uh, just like you saw it at the beginning of the intro there in my desktop background. So, um, yeah, I think that covers it. Have a great day.
Hey guys, I just thought I might cut in here again uh, real quick just to go over a little bit of what I'm doing here, what you've been seeing. Um, I have adjusted my opacity of the vector artwork uh, way down to 50% opacity so that I can see the sketch underneath uh, a little bit better. Uh, sketch actually is over top, uh, but I want to be able to see it a little bit better. Um, but what you're seeing me do here a little bit, uh, like I mentioned in the previous video, when you vectorize with the automatic controls, then Illustrator likes to just round out everything. Um, so you've probably noticed not a single point that I have selected has actually been um, sharp or not had handles on it. They all end up with handles. Um, Bezier handles here, which are how you adjust those curves, and they all ended up uh, kind of rounded out. So what I'm trying to do is restore the flow of the original artwork, and in some cases that means removing some of Illustrator's Bezier's and just uh, using my own. In some cases it means I'm adding Bezier's in there. Um, just to kind of make things fit a little bit better to the original flow of the artwork. Uh, sometimes I'm breaking the artwork or breaking from the artwork to uh, do something that I intended to do with the uh, original drawing that maybe I just didn't quite get the curve right when I drew it or um, didn't get a sharp enough angle when I drew it. Um, you can see here the resolution of the image versus what I'm working at right now is uh, the resolution of the image is very pixelated, very low res, even though this is a really large piece of artwork um, that I started from, we're still, uh, we're still working with some really um, low res compared to what I want the final product to be. So uh, when you go through it and do a trace job like this, um, definitely using that Illustrator automatic trace is a huge shortcut, huge, huge shortcut, but it will never be perfect. It's never going to be able to interpret those pixels uh, just right, uh, just like you wanted it to. You'll also notice I keep missing things uh, when I'm trying to click here. This is actually a little bit of problem in the application. You, to click on those little uh, handles and points, uh, they're really tiny. And I think you can adjust the size of those somewhere in the settings, uh, but I haven't actually gotten into doing that. Um, so I think they can be adjusted, but what I would really like is not to adjust the size of those uh, in the interface, but just to adjust the size that you need to actually select, the area you need to select. Uh, but for me, with my arthritis, um, my fingers are stiff and uh, just really carefully clicking on that specific little dot uh, is pretty difficult for me um, depending on the day and, and how I'm doing and all that. So uh, you'll notice me missing a lot, um, moving the entire piece of artwork a little bit and having to move it back. Uh, that's kind of what's going on there. That's obviously not intentional. Um, but here's a case of what I'm talking about. So here I need a little bit of a curve coming of the off here of the brow. Uh, this is his brow here and his ear, but his ear, the line of his ear, should cut right in behind his brow, so I don't want any curve coming out here. This this line is not attached to this line in the 3D space of the artwork uh, as we're imagining it. So uh, this curve here actually penetrates past that, comes down here, and so this curve, actually I'm going to adjust this because... Uh, I need an extra point in here, so I'm going to add that. And I'm sorry I'm not using the interface here, I'm using my shortcuts, so you're not seeing what I'm clicking on, but that was plus. Uh, all of these tools that I'm switching between are here in the pen tool, so you just hold down on that when you click on it, and you can choose the different options. So I'm adding points, I'm moving, removing points, and I'm using the point uh, anchor point tool quite a bit. I'm not using the pen so much at the moment, but I might go in and do that in other places. Uh, sometimes I like to use the pen to just draw a new shape. Uh, I did do that down around the mouth. The creases around the mouth drew new shapes there. Uh, they didn't come through with the automatic uh, conversion. So I drew those shapes in. Sometimes I'll draw them in to cut things out. Um, 
and sometimes I can use shortcuts like for his eyes his uh, iris here should be perfectly round right so I went ahead and just used the circle tool and if you were paying attention I accidentally selected the rectangle tool first and that's why when I blew that circle up it became kind of square uh, I had the wrong tool so um, be careful what you click on make sure you're, you're selecting what you want but uh, so here this is what I'm talking about we've got a shape here let's grab that and I've got a point now that I've just added in and when I drew this in the original artwork um, this line kind of seems to come right in sweep right in to the uh, illustrator artwork so you certainly can't fault Illustrator for drawing that incorrectly. Um, I did that incorrectly. So what I'm going to do is fix that by stretching out the line of his cheek here. And this whole line actually is a little bit too thick. I need to pull that in just a tad. And then this huge handle up here, I'm going to get rid of that entirely. I want that to be a hard corner from this line. So instead I'm going to pull this one over. So I have a little bit of a hard corner there, and I want to adjust this up just a tad. So right now I'm trying to imagine a line that cuts right through here and make sure that this is on that imaginary line. And that's going to give the illusion of depth when I pull that ear artwork uh, back there. So, um, and actually what I ought to do is curve this more really get that so when I first started doing that I did it in the wrong spot because um, I've already adjusted this anchor but I put an angle in there to match my underlying artwork not paying attention to the overall sweep of that line and that was wrong so we're uh, fixing that right now and we're breaking from what the underlying artwork is now another thing I want to do is add a point in here. So I just hit plus, clicked it there, I, then I hit A to go over to the uh, tool. Because I want to bring that out a little bit and thin that line down. I made that line much too thick. We want to thin that down a little bit. Let's see if we can grab that handle. Kind of get this curve in here. We're going to do the same thing, kind of get that. I was doing the right thing here. Now if you look here and see these lines here, this curve and this curve are part of the same sweep of his uh, cheek here, but if you look at that actual curve, they're not the same. So I need to adjust that. I'm going to just pull that anchor down a little bit, and this anchor is its actually not an anchor on this side. It would probably be easier if there was. So let's pull this anchor down. A little bit there. I'm going to hit Shift C, grab this uh, tool here, and basically uh, one nice little way that we can sort of fake that sweep to get that matching sweep is if we get the other anchor to touch this line. So now we've actually completed that curve there. You see that? What I'm going to do is actually turn off if I can grab it there by clicking on that handle. Just turn that handle off. That way this curve comes sweeping down from that handle and straight into the line right there. And that's going to create that depth of th this shape, this ear shape. I keep touching my screen trying to point it out. Um, is behind this shape. So I hope that kind of makes sense there. And this needs to be adjusted a little bit. There we go. Smooth that out a little bit. The creases in his eye socket here, um, these are a little funny. This is kind of a hard spot to really get right. But basically I'm just going to, oops, pulled it the wrong way. Get that in there to try and recreate that. Because again, we're working with line art here, and we want that line art to, um, to mimic uh, with the way it was drawn. So again, I'm going to just break that out. And sometimes you'll see me do that. I'll just draw it really wide since I'm planning to turn off that handle. I just want to be able to see it really easy and turn it off. Um, so I'll pull it out really wide like that. And then you can see here this, um, this line actually gets really narrow here um, as it sort of fades off. 
Uh, these lines are supposed to be sort of connected uh, invisibly here. I feel like they don't quite line up. Oops, there I go grabbing the whole artwork again. Let's put it back. I'm trying to just grab that anchor. And I don't think they actually totally lined up. Oh, man, that one really uh, bugs me when I grab that. I don't know if they actually ever lined up when I drew it. Um, but I'm trying to correct that now a little bit. Here we go. This shape is no good. We've got to fix that. I don't really need points on those. Just need them here. I think this is one that Illustrator created, and then I tried to tweak it. And maybe I should have just left it or redrawn it. Um, let's pull that in a little bit there. Okay, and then these lines, these don't line up. Let's see if I can move that so it lines up there. There we go. I think that's a little bit better because invisibly the idea is that this curve here of his skin has a little bit of a fold here, but it's in light so it doesn't, we don't draw the whole fold. But uh, we got a little bit of a crease here under his brow, uh, but it's along whoops, along this same sweeping angle here of his brow, and this I don't like that one there. I'm just going to pull that. Sometimes it's easier to just pull a point out. Um, whoops, that's not what I wanted. Okay, now I got to redo that. Apparently, you can't undo um, when you delete a handle. That's something to maybe watch out for. Uh, and you can delete a handle just by clicking on it once, uh, which is kind of easy to do. So Now here again we've got uh, two different sort of shapes that we're trying to uh, demonstrate here. We've got the curve of his brow, which actually comes around here, and then we've got sort of a fold in his skin, which comes down in his eye socket there. So. Um, by deleting that extra handle, we have a little bit harder corner on that side. Uh, same over here, kind of, oh, we kept the handle, but we kept it pretty hard. Um, that actually could come down a little bit. This handle could come up just a tad. And that sort of gives that illusion of depth that this is over top of the other. And, I don't know, maybe I should have actually connected these lines. Maybe that's why I'm not liking this so much. What I think I might do is rotate that and everybody who actually listened to me and turned off the audio, nobody's actually getting this instruction unfortunately. But if anyone wasn't paying attention and left their audio on, you get some bonus. Um, let's get rid of this point just, uh, no, actually, we're going to select that point and actually delete it, leaving an open edge there. I'll select this point. Actually, I need that point. I don't need this path. Can I delete the path? Is it selected? Yes. No, it was not. I deleted the whole point. Okay, so let's grab our pen tool. I'm going to click once on that anchor to select it, and then I'm going to come over here to this path right where it connects. And ooh, actually, that was the wrong way to do that. Let's bring it down here. I'm actually connecting this line to this one, but I'm going to have to move that point. And then I'm just going to hit Escape to clear out of that. Let's grab our anchor tool. And so now we're continuing this line here with that little bridge. And then we're going to grab our pen tool again, grab the top portion, and I'm just going to connect to the path. Now these are actually overlapping part of the same shape, but I'm just going to combine it there just to clean that up. And I have an extra point in here. I have two extra points. Let's get rid of, oh, more than two. No, okay, there we go. Oops, Shift C. 
Okay, so now we've got that angle that I was kind of imagining before. There we go, and then that comes out as a separate. So sometimes making a connection like this in the artwork is easier to do by just creating the one line first and then creating this line as a separate stroke, or separate shape or object, and then combining them with the shape mode tool, the Pathfinder tool. But uh, sometimes, I don't know, it depends on where you're at. If you're just tracing, if I was just tracing this from scratch, that's what I would have done. I would have, um, I would have just drawn this shape here, this curve, and then I would have come back and added this curve as a little triangle, and then combined them uh, to get the shape that I wanted at, at the end. Uh, the eyes were really blurry, so I had to kind of make that up a little bit, uh, and I'm just trying to go in and refine the work that I had, and then correct. Uh, areas where I felt like the artwork uh, didn't quite fit. So I don't think that's necessary shape there. Um, you know, actually, I just want to redraw parts of this. So I'm going to go plus there. Oops, I keep getting that because I'm just missing that path just slightly. There we go. Adding three points, they don't have to be in exactly the right spot. Turning off the handles on all of those, moving them to where I want them. And what I'm going to do is actually create an extra line here that I didn't have in the original artwork. So we're going to get that swoop here of this line going. I don't really like where that point ends up now that I'm examining that a little bit more closely. Let's get rid of that handle. Put handles back on this one. I think we could pull that out just a tad. Turn off that side of that handle. Now I've got that a little bit better. Actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this line all the way down here and turn that handle off. Let's grab this handle, pull it up, and I don't particularly like having these two points here. So I'm going to delete that out, and uh, I've got to redo that one. Okay, so let's put that curve where I want it, grab this handle, bring it up the other direction for that crease there. And now we've kind of added in a little bit here for this shape of his nose, sort of that flat little portion above his nose. Uh, I'm actually not using the tool I wanted to use there. That's okay. Clean that up. Sometimes it can be difficult to kind of keep track of all the little handles, which ones are going where. So really gonna got to pay attention to that. There we go, because I'm going to want this sweep to come in here, and it gets really light here to the point where it's not there anymore, and then dark again over here for that shape. Uh, this, again, off artwork, but it's okay. Uh, and I intentionally left these pretty squared up. Uh, actually, I'm going to bring this up a little bit higher. When I started, I should have faded out the actual lines first instead of later. 
I wouldn't have to be cleaning up the stuff that I did first. But there we go. I think that kind of gets things where I want them. This can come up a little bit. There we go. And there actually could almost be a sort of a void. Oh, oh that, that just looks a little weird because I'm dragging it. Okay. Let's turn that R off there. Let's pull that out. I actually don't want that handle. I want this handle to come up. Boy, I'm just not really happy with this shape. Ah. Oh, stop doing that. Grab the anchor. I don't want bigger anchors because I feel like they will distract me from the underlying artwork. At some point, that's going to be, you know, kind of too visible. If that makes sense. There we go. That's more the shape that I actually wanted that nose to take. And uh, really, we could have some wrinkles in there. A real gorilla would have some wrinkles in there, but uh, because of the artwork uh, intention, I'm not going to do that. So. I think we're kind of back on point. Um, yeah, and I like this change that we made up here on the brow. I think that's going to be better. This ear looks better, and now I'm going to need to get another shape in there. So we're going to, I'll show you how I would have drawn that triangle like I was talking about and added it. So I'm going to hit P for the pen tool. Come up here, down here, there, and close that. And then for this one, I'm going to go ahead and put a curve in there. Curve in kind of here. There we go. Select those and let's combine them. And then take our opacity back down to 50. So when you do combine shapes, that's the one bummer is that the shape on top is going to transfer its characteristics to the one beneath. So the opacity had to be set again uh, when I combined them, but that's just the nature of the beast. There we go. So we've kind of got that little fold of his ear there. Um, this ear... I don't know. I might come back and edit that ear later, but... Uh, there's a couple of things here going on here that I might might go back in and change. So a lot of really small details, but they really make a difference on what the end result artwork looks like. Um, when you zoom out, it just is going to look a little bit smoother, a little bit more hand drawn. Um, I think those details really come through in the end, so they're worthwhile to me. Um, I think that covers pretty much what we've been doing so far here. Uh, just going through and, and putting in. Um, I just remember I should save this document. There we go. Um, coming through and just making some small adjustments. Uh, these little uh, creases by his mouth, they need to move out a little bit. They're way too close to the mouth. Uh, I'll probably do that next. Um, and I'm just going to kind of keep keep working at it. So. Uh, that's pretty much what's going on. So um, I'm going to go ahead and shut down the audio again. And uh, if you see me pulling up that OBS software here and adjusting the audio, then you know that I'm talking to you. So um, I'm going to shut this back off and turn my music back on and get back to work. And if you're curious, I am listening to Dixieland Jazz uh, Station on Google Play. So uh, lately, I'm kind of into old school jazz and blues. Uh, I've been playing a little bit of that uh, in between things like Imagine Dragons and techno and whatever. But 
but I've kind of enjoying that old feel right now. So I'm going to get back to that, and uh, you can get back to whatever you're listening to, and I'm going to just keep working here for a little bit longer. Um, I am kind of getting to a point where I probably need to be quitting soon. looks like I've been going for about an hour, a little over an hour, so um, I'm actually I'm feeling pretty good right now uh, physically, but um, when I'm really distracted working on artwork, I tend to overdo things and not notice it until it gets way too far. And I just realize that I'm getting really frustrated over little things, um, just feeling really temperamental. And um, and then I quit, and then I get up, and I can't hardly move once I'm out of my chair. i got to really st stretch out and can't hardly get around, and I really ruin myself for the rest of the day. So I don't want to do that. Um, I just want to kind of keep things really balanced and be careful with that. So I'm going to go a little bit longer here, try to finish up the head artwork. That's the main thing that needs adjustment in this, I think. Um, and then uh, I'll probably have to come back and finish some more of this a little bit later uh, so or some other later in the week or something like that. But, um, oh, yeah, I needed that. Let's pull that back up. So I'm going to mute this. I'm going to go back to my Dixieland jazz. Uh, enjoy your music. And if you see me pop up and unmute again, uh, I guess I have something to tell you, and you can uh, unmute on your end as well uh, if you've been muting yours. If you haven't been muting, then I'll just cut in and you'll hear me. So uh, whatever works better for you. Uh, again, I want to let you know um, I'm Mike. Uh, I go by Uncle Mike online uh, in some places like uh, Instagram. And uh, on Facebook, I am 5012design, which is on my home screen here. So 5012design. Uh, you can find me at 5012design.com and then click on the Facebook link. Or you can uh, just go to 5012design, facebook.com slash 5012design, and get updates on what I'm doing and stuff like that. Uh, so a little, little plug to throw in there. Uh, I think there's a way I can do an overlay in this OBS software. I was just kind of learning about that, but I decided I'd rather work than learn right now. Uh, so eventually maybe I'll be able to pop up stuff like that. Uh, so, yeah, that's kind of what's going on here. I don't think we've had anyone pop into the Twitch chat. Um, I'm a, I think actually I might have closed out on my phone as well, which isn't great. Let's see if I can get back into it. No, it's still running. I don't know where it went to. Uh, it doesn't look like we've had any, anyone hop in. We have had a couple of viewers stop by, so that's great. Um, I am quiet here, but I am here, so uh, definitely hit me up on that chat if you have questions or if you want to ask for clarification, and I'll either answer you in the chat or uh, unmute again if we need to or uh, direct you to the YouTube video I did previously talking about that trace tool and kind of what we're doing. So um, I hope that kind of uh, explains what we've done so far. And let's, uh, let's get back to it for just a little while longer. And then I'm going to need to, to, to quit. So uh, yeah, maybe we'll, we'll talk again. I'm sure I'll close out the stream. Um, my wife's doing a little bit of housework and stuff in the background outside my office. So if there's a lot of noise, then I might just uh, quit it out when we're done. Uh, but uh, hopefully we'll be able to cut in and, and close properly.
Okay guys, I've been at this for looks like about an hour and a half uh, total stream time here and I think I better quit for now. Um, pretty happy with how this is working out here. Um, I, might, I might not be entirely happy with how this cheek worked out. It doesn't really match the other cheek. This eye is kind of droopy. It's a little... Uh, little early Sylvester Stallone there. Um, I don't know. I do kind of like the overall look of it, though. We'll see. Anyway, uh, let's not get into theorizing about all that. Um, I think we made a lot of good progress on the face here. I think my ears match up a little bit better now. Um, the beard, as you saw, there was a lot of extra lines or a lot of extra anchors that uh, Adobe Illustrator added automatically in there that we did not need to get this sort of zigzag shape of the beard. And now that I've gone through and deleted all those and basically just reset each one of those points, uh, they're all very intentional. Um, and I think that they build that beard line uh, really well. So uh, that's a really important part of the uh, character here because, uh, like myself, uh, Silverback, who this is sort of a... Uh, ape-like sort of caricature of. Um, he has a big beard. Um, so that's kind of a, a major uh, major point. As I'm looking at it, I feel like I need another zag here in the beard somewhere on the uh, on his right side of his face, on the left side here uh, for us. So I probably will go in and add that at some point. Uh, but overall, I think that the face itself here is pretty much done. Um, all that we are needing then after that is to go through, clean up some lines in the belt, um, clean up the zags on his arm. Uh, same with this arm here. You can see it's all uh, droopy and rounded out. We want to make those uh, points. Uh, so we'll clean that up. We need to clean up some of the curving here around the pocket, uh, stuff like that, some of these lines in the pants. Uh, clean up this uh, fingernail, uh, thumbnail a little bit, make those a little bit sharper at the points. The uh, pistol barrel turned out pretty good, I think. Um, pretty happy with how that's working. I might go in and simplify out some of that. Um, I probably want to simplify the cylinders here a little bit uh, rather than have these giant rings where I drew on the actual uh, holes in the cylinder, um, the chambers. I probably will clear that out so we just have one smooth line here and then uh, semicircles cut out there uh, that'll be dark and then we'll dark out the barrel at the end. Um, maybe add in a little bit of a reflection line under the barrel um, just to give it a little bit of a shadow, uh, a little bit more depth there. Um, banana I think I'm pretty happy with, but it did add some extra anchors I think at the end of that line. We want to clean that up. So just a lot of little spots, uh, but overall we've got a lot of really large swooping um, lines in the body. And those are going to be fine pretty much just as they are, so we don't have to go in and fine-tune all of those. Uh, I think probably another half hour or so to finalize uh, cleaning all that up and have it ready for print. So um, that I will probably do on my own rather than uh, doing one of these sort of silent broadcasts. Um, I'll just turn on some music, do it on my own when I can here, and then I'll post the final product uh, on the Facebook page. And then... Um, at some point, I expect uh, Gorillas and Guns will be posting it up on his videos and stuff, and I don't know if he's planning to ever make patches out of this guy or if he'll use the other face, sort of the Che Gorilla that we did um, for those, or, or what, he, what he, all he wants to use this for. He did tell me he had some ideas for it, so it'll be cool to have that uh, created for him. Let's turn him back off for now. So... Um, yeah, that's pretty much uh, the process here in Illustrator. I um, don't know if I 
had a lot of people that stopped in and viewed this video or if uh, I don't know how to read the numbers on on Twitch uh, that might be total views on my channel I don't know but um, unfortunately as a silent production that's not very entertaining to watch so I'm sure most people uh, if they connected tuned out so uh, maybe next time if I'm gonna keep doing this kind of thing I will figure out how to do an overlay so that it uh, has a, a brief explanation in the corner of the screen or something just to let you know that I'm uh, listening to music but I don't have the licensing to share it with you all so uh, instead we're gonna have to listen to our own music separately but uh, you can kind of follow along um, I would play it through my headphones I'm actually wearing my headphones this whole time but I think my microphone will actually pick it up just enough that the YouTube robots will hear it recognize it and shut down my whole video so um, that's why we're doing things the way that we are doing them uh, if there's some way if someone knows of some way that I can license music to play on the channel that isn't uh, expensive um, I mean I have really no budget for that kind of thing so uh, occasionally I'll probably play my brother's music I do have licensing for that um, but if I want to listen to other music then I'm kind of out of luck uh, as far as sharing that and I don't really have a good way to cut out that music from you guys uh, at some point maybe I'll get a studio mic in here and in my office and then I'll be able to turn that input on and it probably won't be close enough to hear the music playing in my headphones uh, that would probably resolve that issue but uh, that's a little ways off I think so um, anyway I think that covers things so uh, again keep up with me at facebook.com slash 5012 design uh, hopefully at some point here this uh, summer or maybe late summer early fall we'll update 5012design.com so that uh, I can just point you there that's probably a lot easier and, and help you get to where you want to go for Twitch broadcasts or YouTube videos and all that. Um, just a quick little channel update. Uh, my birthday's coming up here next weekend, so uh, probably won't have a video that weekend that I'll be working on. Uh, we'll see. Uh, the range videos that I had planned to do for training, um, pistol training this uh, month, uh, I don't think are going to happen. I think. It's, I saw that we have a medic course, uh, basic field medicine, which I would love to take, but uh, it's not in the budget right now. Uh, but uh, medic course coming up at the end of the month uh, at Red Leg, but the um, regular pistol training I think is going to have to wait until next month in August, uh, which I will be hopefully attending and with my wife and filming. Um, and then I'll be able to share some of that with you all. So uh, keep an eye out for that. In the meantime, I think for... July projects. Um, obviously, I'm finishing up this uh, character here. I've got another project that I'm trying to uh, iron down with another YouTuber to do a logo for her. And if that works out, then um, hopefully we'll be able to uh, go through that process as well uh, in streams like this. And we can uh, do that. And then uh, I really want to redo my knife sheath for my Becker uh, BK7 so we'll probably have that for shop videos uh, throughout the month of July as I get to doing that process so uh, that's pretty much uh, where we're at and I'm gonna go ahead and move around a little bit stretch out a little bit um, play with my dogs make sure that they're uh, not being uh, too lonely out there watching my wife uh, looks like she's maybe working on the kitchen at the moment or something so uh, throw the ball a little bit for them and uh, just kind of take it easy for the rest of the day here maybe play some games with some friends on my Xbox later um, or maybe play by myself here on my computer I've been playing uh, Deus Ex uh, Mankind Divided recently and uh, kind of enjoying that it's a it's a fun game. I played the last one, but I didn't finish it. I uh, got really far, and then I got distracted with something else or something. And uh, this one, I am enjoying. Um, I hopefully will finish it. I got it on a Steam sale, which I think is still going for the summer sales. Uh, it goes right up until just before my birthday, so uh, I was able to actually pick it up 
for pretty cheap early. Uh, usually I wait until my birthday to get some uh, birthday cash or whatever that I might have and then I can throw that at it, but uh, the deals are gone at that point and then I'm always really bummed, so um, my wife kind of let me borrow that out of the budget a little early and I've been enjoying that game. Uh, the only downside with that one I think is um, I spent some points on my character where I would have not if I had realized a little bit better uh, that I hadn't already spent points elsewhere. There was sort of a tutorial I went through and spent points for a character and then after the tutorial those points were refunded and I had access to all the points I had collected so far um, and I couldn't I didn't notice, so I you know, I spent them all in different parts of my character and would have upgraded some other things first if I had realized. Uh, but the graphics are pretty good. Um, on my laptop here, uh, it runs okay. Uh, I wish I could max it out, but um, I do have to run it a little bit lower as this laptop's getting a little bit older. Uh, but it still looks pretty good. It looks easily as good as the last one, which I ran on. Uh, full settings, uh, no problem. So, anyway, uh, you probably don't even care about that, uh, but that's what I'm up to lately. So, that's it. I'm going to go ahead and close the stream, and I hope you enjoyed this uh, with your music. Uh, if you were following along, and if you have questions and you're seeing this on YouTube, definitely um, leave them in the comments or head over to my Facebook page and leave me comments there if you like. And if I have an uh, answer for your question, I'll be happy to share that with you. So I think that pretty well covers everything. Have a great day.